السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آف ایس ایل ایس مونٹیسری اینڈ اسکول ویلکم ٹو یور جنرل نالج کلاس ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی اباؤٹ لونگ تھنگس اینڈ نان لونگ تھنگس وٹ آر لونگ تھنگس human beings plants and animals are living things living things need food water and air to live humans animals and plants are living things living things have the following characteristics living things grow move need food water and air produce waste reproduce and living things feel all human beings grow when you were born you were a baby when you started walking you were a toddler now you're going to school and you are a child when you are going to go to the college you are going to be a teenage boy and when you are going to grow up like your father you are going to be an adult animals also grow when a hen lays an egg a chick hatches out from that egg that chick grows to become a hen all plants grow when a seed is sown in the soil and it receives proper air sunlight and water it begins to grow roots and shoots come out of that seed soon it becomes a baby plant having tiny leaves the baby plant grows into a plant this plant grows to become a tree the tree will bear flowers and fruits the second characteristic of living things is that all living things move all human beings move in their daily lives you show movement by walking jumping running skipping etc animals also move Some animals show their movement by running. Fish show their movement by swimming in the water. Birds move by flying in the air. Plants do not move. from one place to an other like humans and animals parts of plants like roots stems and leaves grow and show movements there are some special plants which show specific movements for example the sunflower always faces the sunlight 
leaves of the sundew plant close when an insect is trapped in it. The third characteristic is living things need food, water and air to live. Animals and humans need food to get energy. We cannot live without water. We need oxygen to breathe. Plants need sunlight, water and air to live. If a plant is kept in a dark room without sunlight and water, it is going to die. However, plants do not eat food like humans and animals. They have the ability to make their own food by using sunlight, water, air and nutrients which they absorb from the soil. Living things produce waste. We all need food and water to live. The food and water which is not used by the human body is passed out from the body as waste. Plants also produce waste. The oxygen we breathe is actually given out by plants as waste when they are making food in the sunlight. Living things reproduce. All living things have their babies like human beings and animals. Plants also reproduce. The tiny seed of a plant is just like its baby. When this seed is sown in the soil, tiny roots and leaves come out of the seed to become a plant. All living things can feel. Human beings respond to the feeling of love and affection. Animals also respond to the feelings of love and care. We can also feel the temperature changes. For example, we feel hot in summers and cold in winters. Plants have feelings like us. For example, if we take care of plants with love, they will grow better. Few plants respond to the sensation of touch. For example, leaves of mimosa plant close when touched with the finger. Non-living things. Few examples of non-living things are books, car, house, chair, football, teddy bear. Non-living things have the following characteristics. Non-living things do not need food water and air. They do not move. They do not grow. They do not produce waste. They do not reproduce. 
and they do not feel. Dear children, let us enjoy a fun activity. Here are a few pictures given. You are going to tick the living things and cross the non-living things. First picture is of a cow. Is cow a living thing or a non-living thing? Yes, very good. Cow is a living thing, so we are going to tick it. Second picture is of a cactus plant. Plants are living things, so we are going to tick it as well. Then we have picture of a tricycle. Is it a living thing? No, tricycle is a non-living thing. Then there is a picture of a candle. It is a non-living thing. Then we have picture of a snake. Yes, you are right. Snake is a living thing, so we are going to tick it. Then we have picture of a toy robot. It is a non-living thing. Then there is picture of an iron. It is also a non-living thing, so we are going to cross it out. Then we have picture of a lion. Lion is a living thing, so we are going to tick it. Then there is picture of a tree. Tree is a living thing. Then there is picture of grass. Grass is also a living thing. Then we have picture of a yo-yo. It is a toy and it is a non-living thing. So you are going to cross it. Then there is picture of a snail. Snail is a living thing so we are going to tick it. Then there is picture of a table and table is a non-living thing so you are going to cross it at the end we have picture of a cat and cat is a living thing so you are going to tick it dear students there is an interesting activity for you Take a chart paper and divide it into two columns. Write living things on the left side and non-living things on the right side. You are going to draw or paste pictures of few living things on the left column and few non-living things in the right column. After completing your work, you can take pictures and send it to your teachers. Dear students, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you have learned the difference between living things and non-living things. Don't forget to revise your lesson.